Hello. Here we go again. Today. What I'm going to do today? Oh yes. We're going to look at these bits here. So let's make the player blue slice respond and let's implement a invulnerable or in, invulnerable bit. So so basically when it's killed and responds, um, it's invulnerable for a week, right? So let's take a look what we did yesterday. So we added some color to the fonts and we got a door now, which is when we're going to respond. Now, this is kind of fixed now. Um, so let's add that to the map, shall we? And for that, we're going to have an object layer instead of an entity layer. There is going to be, sorry. What did I say? I say an object layer instead of a map layer, right? So these are, sorry, tie layers. <laughs> tie layers. It's Thursday, isn't it? It's Thursday, yeah. Long week. And this is going to be an object layer. So the difference is that we are not going to store a tile map. We're going to store a list of objects. Okay. And we're going to start with the player. So we're going to do this. Uh, not this, this. We're going to say do this here. And And we're going to call it player. And I think that's going to be all, really, for now. Um, perhaps one thing we could be doing is we could be setting a flag here for the the direction where we're going to make the player look. Um, but. For the player, it may not be a lot of. Uh, I don't know. I mean, for the enemies, it's probably something we need. So we could be rather adding that for all of them. Like, okay, for, no, let's not do that for now because we don't need that. And then, then we can. Shall we do that now? Yes, no. Let's do it. It's going to be quick anyway. So that's for now. So it's going to be entities. Let's go back to our Python code to convert the map. Oh, there you go. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Wait a second, I'll be back. Yeah, very professional. I didn't, I haven't set up this. Anyway, yeah, reminder, 24 days, seven hours. Let's not forget about that. Cool. So, right, so we have some utility bits here already. Mm -hmm. So let's get the new layer, right? Oh, process map entities. Let's do that. So we're going to get the entities, entity layer. And it's going to be get layer. Data and entities. We are not actually checking. Uh, okay, so this could be re returning a value error. So it's okay. It's an internal tool. It's not an end user tool. So we don't care too much about that. Right. So entity layer. Um, and I don't know how the JSON is. So let's take a look to the JSON file. So we're going to get this, and I think we just need to go through the objects, really, uh, for, and in, no, that's not the one, that's the wrong layer here. Oh. And in entity layer objects. 
and then just process them. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a list of entity layers in out. And, and they're going to end with this value. And we know we can use, we can't use that or things. So, okay, why? Because we're going to decide what we're going to store on that list. Um, so, what do we need to store on that list? I think we need to store um, a few things. So, we need to store a type which in this case is going to be the player. Um, but we don't want to store a string, right? So, entity types, and it can be player, the first one that we have. And what we're going to do is here, uh, It's going to be um, entity types index what is index doing? I don't remember Python anymore ah this is the help I'm going to get uh, anyway any value and it will give me the index I think so the index of end um, and what and name. What happens if it doesn't find it? Do we know if it doesn't integer? It's going to raise an exception. Um, so. Can I search like this? Will it work? Uh, kind of. So list um, index. Reduce and zero base index or list equals value error. There is no such item. Right. Okay. So fine. Oh, I didn't close that. I'll be back. <laughs> there you go. Couple of small things I didn't remove for the start decision. Anyway, so um, let's just make because it's the kind of uh, is the kind of issue we're going to have like a typo or something parser error um something like that okay so that gives us a type and it's complaining about no use. Okay. Then we're going to get um, the X coordinate, which is going to be and X. And we're going to divide that by, because we have the tile set, right? So what is the tile set? The tie set is going to say it's going to have tie width uh, because basically I don't I, we don't need to store two bytes for this we can handle one byte because if we have 
the entities align to the tiles and the tiles are eight by eight, it's going to be not with one byte, right? So, and then we can also have flags that can be zero, for example. And yes, so, and basically we do out stand and then we do type x y flags so every entity is going to be four bytes and when we have find the type 255 then is the end of the list and that's going to be it Yeah, it generates the map just fine. So, okay. Um, let's take a look to the, the um, direction, right? So, what do we do? How do we do this? So, we call it deer, left and right, right? So we could be saying deer and a string and say, for example, we default to right, otherwise we can say left. Let's do, let's go with this one for now. Okay, so this is what is going to happen. Um, so we can have a function to make things simpler, like get prop uh, and we can say if not in data return oh we can set, we need to set the default right if we didn't find it right for example i mean there are like a million ways of doing this um otherwise we can do return return data properties then get uh, no that's not how we're going to do it for, for prop in data properties if prop name is name then Otherwise, we don't default because we didn't find it, right? So, what we can do here is entity. What are we looking for? We're looking for deer, and the file is going to be right. If beer equals left, then then flags one. Otherwise, what? Okay, if let's do it properly. If there not in can we do this? So 
Valid value. Something like this. Right? Uh, sorry, what am I doing wrong? Why is complaining about this? Ah, uh, parser. Thank you. Okay. I guess. Um, but then if we go here and say potato invalid value for property D potato. Fair enough. If we don't have it, it's going to use face it looking to the right, right? Cool. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's do better like this. I like it better. Because it's going to include the quotes. Cool. So that's going to give us our entities, right? Um, so where is my turn now? Oh, here, of course. Okay, so uh, now we need to go to the map. And I guess we do it in map in it, right? Hmm? Or not? How do we do this? I haven't thought about this at all. I know how I do it in and how I've done it in other games, but I, we're doing things just like different here, right? So player in it. Otherwise X and Y. And it's going to so X and Y and then we're going to pass as well uh, direction, right? I don't know why sometimes it takes so long um, in changing the file. I think there's something funny going on. Um, so, right. So we need to init the player. Um, but the init information is on the map. Uh, so... Map and this. We're going to do it like this because we might want to rein it into this few times. Would it make that sense? Or we just do it with the map in it? Let's do the map in it. Why not? So we pass the map. And then we're going to need here a list of entities. So, because this is the one that is going to spawn the entities. Hmm? So, what is player in it doing? Can we run this multiple times? Yes. So, what we're going to do here is. Um, entity is going to be map plus
two times. And that will be the first entity. And then we do while. We don't get to the end. What do we do? Well, I would suggest check the value of entity. We don't have default, although I don't think we need to set up this, but okay, so so index zero is going to be the player. Now um what I will do here is I have have an enum type here, so um, and we do player is going to be zero. Hmm? Does it make sense? So if it's player, then player in it, and it's going to be one, or two, and three only the first bit. That's it. We could have as many players as we want. It really doesn't matter. Yes, we want to do it like this. For regular entities, we will need to allocate an entity. So I think we might need to change this later. But for now, it's fine. And obviously, this is how it, how it goes. Two few elements right in it. What? Oh, because. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it discards. Okay, cool. Well. And it makes sense. Okay. No, it's broken. It's not going to work because we need to. Uh, we actually can do it differently here. We can do a four, but yeah, why not? So we in it outside, but we don't need to. We can do four this until this then increase four right did we say it was four we said it was we said it was the type It was the type X, Y, and the flag. So it's four. Cool. So now there might be a chance it may work. So let's try that. No. It was over there. Oh, because we need to multiply this by map style with and hello racing the bean good evening i have a small feel of deja vu is that what you said last day i probably did i think no i mean it's not it's not working why not What I'm doing wrong. So, because that's not how it is. 
And now it's not going to work because we need to force process the JSON again. Sorry, I think I heard you ask me a question last night. I often watch my TV and I can't. No, it's all right. Don't worry. I mean, during the, I don't know. I mean, I, you're helping. Just doing the debug duck thing. Because you're in the channel, I was seeing your name, but don't worry. I was not expecting you to answer. Okay, so uh, it's working only that it's not because we're doing the run default. So I'm not completely sure what is going on. No, uh, what is the direction in the map? It was on the player. Okay, so right is zero and left is one. So we haven't set a property here. So we are defaulting to right. So basically this zero. One, two, three. And we're checking the bit one. I'm confused. Why is the player facing the other way? No, it's facing the right way. And now it's not. Um do run. Oh, <laughs> oh, see, I mean, it's probably doing a warning to be fair when I'm compiling. No, it's not warning. Hmm. I think I probably should... Hmm. Okay, let's try something. Um, is that how you do that? Um, Okay, I like it, so... What? Oh, it has to be menu, we are not including menu. Is that the problem? No, in main. I'm including menu. What? It's the same, isn't it? Please the creation function room menu. But it's not true, is it? Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's just start fixing things because otherwise... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not typing thoroughly. Okay, so...
cool. So that to start with. All right. Okay. So now we're facing the right place. We're facing the right place. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to see if it works. If I put this guy here. It is in the right place. It is. And if I say, can you please face left? It is facing left. So that is working. So we can forget about this and it's done. Um, okay. So one thing we missing. Okay, so let's do one thing at a time, shall we? So what we're doing here is oh, this one. Okay, so this. Okay, let's have a, let's put a comment here. Spawn into this. Terminator. Terminator. Okay. So. So. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine as well. And the enum for the entity types. It's fine as well. Yeah, this is all okay. So, what we're doing here is um, so import entities from the map and spawn them, which is not completely true, but to some extent. Okay, so so that is doing this to some extent because we need to add more entities. But for now, we have the basic functionality. It's just de defining more entity types and and just keep adding them. We need the entity system because for now, the the player is out of the entity system. Uh, and you yeah, know, I've been thinking about the synthesis system, but uh, we're not talking about that. We're not going to do that now. So we're going to do damage, uh, invulnerable, and respawn. So for respawn, for respawning, we need to um... okay. So no, we need to. Keep a copy of this. Because when we respond, we need to respond. So we keep a copy of those and we do here. Spawn there and then like this. So in order to respawn, we're going to need that. And what else we're going to need? We, uh, we're going to track how many frames are we going to be invulnerable. And so, which is very long name, right? Not available. It's called Invuln. 
I know we have momentum already. Um... After what? So... Something like this, we'll look about this because I don't know really what is the right value. So, okay. So that is something that we're going to use. And when we are invulnerable, one thing we're going to do is... We're going to do if if we're invulnerable and and this sorry no what are we trying to do if it's invulnerable and the by two is set don't draw. So we want the player to blink when it's invulnerable. Something like this. This needs to be reviewed. When we test when we do the testing, we'll see if it works or not. If it blinks too much or too fast or whatever. Okay, so we need to have a function here to deal with the player death. So, ha. Huh. Let's do play a kit because I think we're going to have we have a pickup that is going to give us so we're going to be invulnerable. So it's not going to be death, but everything is that is uh, going to kill the player is going to call player hit. And we will go from there. So what is player hit going to do? Uh, player hit is going to do if uh, mm, disappointment. Why is what does the game has the lives here? I knew, I knew this is what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah. This is terrible. I mean, I, I really accept the criticism about this, so. I shouldn't have done it like this, but. Uh, no, what? Or subtract life, something like that. <laughs> now, how do we do that? I think this is not right. I think the player should be controlling the lives. Uh, because why? Because we need to know, right? Does it really matter? Well, okay, so the idea is when the player is hit, we we check things and we set some flags. So we set a flag. We're going to set a flag that the player is going to be dying. We're going to do the animation of the player dying. And when he's finished dying, which is completely dead, was dying and now he's dead. We need to respawn the player, but we only need to do that if we have any lives left. 
So, okay, why not? Why not? I mean, we're doing something completely silly already, so let's do more silliness. So it makes sense because we need to update the hood, right? So we can do. Um, mm, 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 mm. If lives. Just in case something happens, but yeah. Okay, it really doesn't matter. You see properly. Okay. Lies. Then. We need to update the. We need to update the hood, no matter what. And then. And we return lives. So that means that we, when we call decrement lives, we know if it's game over. If it's because it's going to be zero, then we don't do a respawn. Fine. Okay, so. We will decrement lives when we need to do it. For now, we need to do... We need another variable, which is... Dying. And when we start, we are not invulnerable. And we are not dying. <clears throat> we are not dying, right? So, player hit to do what? Uh, to do pickaxe, for example. I don't know. We'll see about that. So, dying is going to be one. We are dying. Okay, so what other things we need to do if we are dying? Hmm? We need to set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to set the prime to be prime dying. Excellent. Do we need delay for anything? No, we don't delay for anything. So, so we die in and we set the frame. Now, in the update cycle here, we're going to do. We're going to do gravity up. Let me think. <laughs> so. It has to go up and then down. Hmm. Can we reuse this? Or oh, this word having the animation, extract the animation. I guess we extract the animation. We start it here and that's it. And so we can use the same gravity variable. Why not? So we do gravity up. So it's day in gravity up, day in is one. Then we have we add a function here. That is going to do the gravity bits. So we don't do this. We just update gravity. Which is this. But it's not going to be like this. It's going to be different. Well, it's going to be similar. That's why I'm doing a copy. So we're going to get, so the gravity, we're going to do, use the same gravity. I like it. Um, 
So it's going to be exactly the same. But we are not going to hit the floor. We're going to exit the end of exit the screen. And for that, we're going to check that y is bigger of what? Map something. My weight multiplied by no height. Map time height. Uh, because we have clipping, is fine, right? So what we're going to do here now is call deck decrement light <sighs> so We do the response here, which is going to be just we call player in it again, and because uh, the game state is not in here, it's perfect, right? We use respawn x, respawn y, respawn there. This is the criminal right? And we we'll return. Hello, Commodore 256. I have a very difficult problem with coding. It feels like if you lay the stem religious into continuation. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you definitely need to find help. Cool. I have a lot of problems, but that's not a problem for me. Anyway, um, so do we need to exit? Yes, we just uh, return because we do uh, respond. In any case, you know who can help? You want more context? No, I'm not. I'm not really interested, to be honest with you. So, yeah, uh, so we exit the screen, then we return, and if we don't, sorry, I had no idea. I can help you. I don't know. I don't know where you can find help. Um, probably not in any random Twitch channel that someone is programming something. I don't know. Have you tried using Google, perhaps? So, invulnerability. So I set the modularity now here out of the player in it. Unless we can say, uh, do we want to start the stage being invulnerable? Probably not. Mm. Okay, so this is going to apply the gravity. Um, with the frame of the character dying and if we have lives left we respawn the player and we make it invulnerable otherwise we don't touch anything because um, basically 
Dying is going to block here anyway. Hmm. Yeah. This is wrong. This is wrong. We can't do it like this because. Um, blah, 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 blah. Why? Maybe. Maybe. Because it really doesn't matter. So the one that needs to control the game over is game anyway. So it will never come back here. Otherwise, we keep falling and falling. That's not a good idea. So it's kind of broken, but. Okay. Uh... Respawn. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, the. I don't know. That's the answer. I don't know. Uh... Okay, so this doesn't make sense either because we know that the gravity is going to be on. Oh, you know, that's an answer. There you go. So, in any case, we stop. So, we stop it. You know, stop falling. Although it's never going to be a problem because we're not going to call player update when it's game over. So that's it. So this decrement life. One thing we need to do here is one of another of, of these like if there is a vulnerability, decrement vulnerability, and that's it. So if we run this now, uh, okay. Yeah, this is good. I like it. Like it has suggested the name of the function I should be using instead of the one I'm using. Cool. So this is fine. Uh, but there is nothing that can kill the player right now. So it's not very useful, isn't it? As a test. So what we're going to do here is Um, in the gravity here, when we hit the floor, we do this, and then we're going to check. It's a deadly block. And that is going to be is my is. I don't remember what we call that. This map is deadly. <laughs> Hello, loco. <laughs> well, I don't know. No, no lo sé, no lo sé, no sé decirte. Do people make games? Uh, there's nobody in the Sp Spanish scene making games for those. I don't know about that. Yeah, I agree with you, Como Commodore. Uh, SEO has destroyed the internet, which is all Google's fault, I think. But Okay, let's read your question again. Um, SEO destroyed the internet and it doesn't help people like me associated with STEM with concrete thinking, taking apart serious and seeing tangible components in stone mats with if I had one apple other one think it was thrown out the window with software and algebra with variables that aren't intended to be reverse engineered back to a real number. How do a search engine help solve the problem? Uh well you could be um I mean, you're trying to find that answer, right? And you can use the search engine for that. So, so you associate the stem with concrete thinking. Well, what, the, what makes you think that programming is not concrete thinking at all?
what would be the Google full query? I don't know. I don't use Google, by the way. Uh, I use a different search engine. I use DuckDuckGo, but um, I don't know. Um, I mean, you are using already some keywords when you asking me this. Ah, loco, only me. Oh, thank you. I, I'm glad that's inspiring. I don't know. I, I didn't know if people do. I mean, I started doing this, but I I didn't know if there was people doing greens for dogs or not. I, I think it's fun, but I don't know. Maybe people get inspired, as you say, uh, and we get more developments. I don't know. So let's check if it's a deadly block, which is the thing that I'm, you know, that's the really important thing in Commodore. We need to know if the floor we're touching right now is deadly or not. You know, is the floor lava? It's not lava, but we could have lava as well. That's a very good idea. I think we're going with the spikes for now. So it is deadly. How do we check that? Well, um, we have hit the floor. So I think it's going to be the exact same check we have here. Um, set a flag, my friend. That's everything is a flag if you look at it close enough, right? Well, We're asking the map is this deadly. It's a deadly block. If it's true. No, we're using C. Uh, well, do we have Olean types here? No, we're just using zeros and ones. It's kind of classic. So it's a deadly block. Um, it's the same. So we know we hit the floor. We just need to check if it's deadly, right? And if it's deadly, what we do is we call a good friend player hit that we just created here that says a flag to one which is that we are dying and when we are dying basically we change the frame of the animation and we call to player dying instead uh, interesting uh no see thank you thank you commodore 256 why 256 you found a bug before i hit the bug really so if he's saying we run this code and we don't keep updating let's try this shall we so we can jump around there's no risk because the floor is not deadly but we touch one that is deadly we die and we respawn so that's it. There's nothing else to do, really. And we don't respond anymore because we don't have lives left. Cool. So that looks like it's working. Uh, but because the only thing we have right now that can kill the player is the deadly blocks. I'm going to put deadly blocks in weird places. So we can try that as well. Yeah, it is tile. Okay, so let's jump to the other side. Okay, so we can't, you know, it's blocked. We can hit, I like this idea. So you can step over spikes, but you jump on them if they will kill the player that's great i think i i like that behavior and i think the sprite is cute enough so yeah okay looks good why i don't know why it exit that for testing. I don't need to do any more of that anymore. Okay, so um, what about the blinking? It's probably not looking great. So 
Mm, can I make it blink slower? And also we need to increase the immunity time. Oh, you're talking like uh, moving more slowly through spikes, like being careful not to repair just one step. So, like, you know, that's what um, the original Prince of Persia did, right? Yeah, I was not planning to do that mechanic, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's more about it. Uh, I, I just, I was surprised that this happens like this. Um, it's just because I wanted the animation to show for longer. Cool. I, I think this is fine. What do you think, Commodore? Do you like it? I mean, so the, the thing about being invulnerable after being killed is because you may appear at the door and there could be enemies around, right? So you need some time to get out of the action. Yeah, thank you. Mechanically sound, I like it. I mean, it's not, you're not invulnerable for too long. It's like a couple of seconds or a second and a half. I got complaints in the past with some of my games because the invulnerability doesn't last too long. So let's make that a little bit longer. Like, how long? 96. Let's try 96, shall we? Yeah, it's a little bit longer. Anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the with how it works. Cool. So that was good, I think. Um, so, so these things are done. I'm going to remove the player from the to-do list for now because the pickups are going to be what is missing. So I, I don't know what to do really, but I was thinking that perhaps, and I'm not sure about this at all. Um, so I was drawing things and I had got a nice pickaxe. Uh, so what is the pickaxe? You know, being realistic, I thought, hmm, you could be using the pickaxe to hit the enemies, but then I need to draw a lot of animation frames and other things, and I'm not good drawing. So probably I'm going to use the pickaxe for something else. Maybe when you grab the pickaxe, you are invulnerable for a, for a bit, or maybe, you know, if an enemy hits you, you lose the pickaxe, but it doesn't kill you. So, hmm. I don't know what to do with that one, but yeah, it's got something that is not going to be handled by the player anyway. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at the change. So with the Kremlin lives here, and I guess we could be adding the game over next uh, because we can die now if we run out of lives, isn't it? See, this, this looks fine to me. Then... This is fine as well. We respond. I don't see any problems the way it works. Uh, this is also fine. We know that even without game over, it doesn't keep falling. Although we don't know because it's, there is clipping. But I guess if there was not even with clipping. If the gravity was on, sorry, did I see something funny? No. So if you was updating and the gravity was on, 
Okay. Good night, loco. See you next time. Bye. So I, I guess it w the gravity was still on. Uh, it will will it will wrap, I think, um, eventually because it's sixteen bit for the Y coordinate. But I think it will wrap. It's not calling that code anyway, so I think it's fine. So other than that, this looks okay. Invulnerability in dying, those two flags. Um, the player is dying, we do this, which is similar to the gravity, but I think it's simpler to split that, even if we duplicate in a little bit of code. It's not the same code, right? We are not checking the map really, we are bouncing until we get out of the screen. Um, yeah, immunity is track here. And we have support for daily blocks. Uh, potentially, we could make it. We could. Oh yeah, I know what it works. Because any tile bigger or equal to this one is solid, which means that the spike is solid. Uh, but only the sp spike or bigger than the spike is deadly. Aha, uh -huh, that's why it works. Cool, it's perfect. I think we could be checking if that if we are touching a deadly block when we move it horizontally, but I don't think it's really important. The blinking is acceptable. Yeah, this looks good. So so this is Yeah, sequence. Cool, that's sort of things. Isn't it? Uh, and I guess we could be doing a game over. Um, what time is it? Yeah, I think I can put 15 minutes or something like that. Do a, a basic game over a screen. Uh, so. So we decrement lives here. Okay, so we can have a game over here and then, then what? I don't know if I'm doing this currently because if these are private, I'm going to do something. Uh, if these are private, only only the game is going to use them. So I'm going to follow the what I'm doing in, in the player. I think it makes more sense. And if it doesn't, at least I'm being consistent. So define. So the game over delay, so in my games, this is something I like to do, um, which is basically when you, you, you lose your last life, I like to let the action play a little bit before going to the game over screen. So the, the, the player has time to realize that you know, it's going to be game over. You can even store the background music and it, it works very well because then you have the game over tune with the game over screen. So so basically in the game over delay is the time we're going to wait. Um, and what we're going to do here is if no lies or game over. And this is what I was talking about.
if it's game over, we're going to do something. Otherwise, it's okay to update the player. I guess we can update the player because we have the gravity is off. Hmm. I don't know really. Anyway. Uh, so, bleed update. If game over. So, this is going to do it. If the game over delay is on, we apply the delay when we get to 1. And that's important, not 0, 1. Because in that way, we can get here. If game over. Hmm? Uh, it doesn't make sense. Because if we do escape, Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah, no. Nah. Let's do it. Let's do it inside. If game over, then we do run game over. And we exit. And in run game over. Take a look at the menu. Uh, to get some ideas, uh, well, we just need to erase part of the screen. So, what I think we're going to do is erase the screen. Update all in the hood, right? I think I like to get get the hot still on the screen. This is just being lazy because in reality we could be erasing only the bottom of the screen, but uh, it's okay. Um, and then we're going to. Put game away on the screen, right? And uh, which is going to be this game over. And it's going to be yeah, white is absolutely fine. Um then Way to sync. Did we keep in the timer the wait for? No, I removed that. Anyway, we just do like this. So for Uh, and then what? We can wait for 128. It's going to be too. It's going to be too 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 little. But wait some time. And where are we going to put the game over? Uh, roughly, I think about 100 or 90 is about right. And then it's going to be 160 minus. Land of game over. Oh, it's the quotes missing. So it's going to be 155.5. So 
So we can do 155. Well, we can do 50. Oh no, this is wrong because it's eight. Yeah, we made, I mean, I made the same mistake the other day. 124. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, is that going to be center? Anyway, let's see how it looks. Uh, no, something is wrong. Oh, oh, because, all right. Let's change the order of things because it's static and we don't have that defined anywhere else. There you go. Okay. There you go. And the last one is going to be this. Then... <laughs> That doesn't look right. It's more like this. Oh. oh, do you see that? Yeah, it has happened before. It has happened before. Uh, I think it's more like 90. Okay, so there is a bug in the player code. Because why is the frame changing? Hmm? I know what it is. Okay, let's do the game over and then fix that one. Or shall we fix that one first? So that happens because... Because here, we have to exit this because otherwise it can keep going down and it could get into stuff here and set the frame standing. And we want that, we don't want that to happen, do we? I will answer the question. We don't want that to happen. Cool. That's fine. Uh, okay, so let's... Let's commit this first. Um, okay, so that's one thing. Another thing we need to do when we do the game over is... Uh, 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 oh, it is here. We need to stop. Uh, no, we call it stop or yeah, stop. Yeah, we need to stop the the timer when we start the game over delay. Uh, Yeah, there you go. That is not is not centered. This can be correct. Can be correct. So what is the one that is not centered? Uh, it is the okay. Let's let's finish this because I think it's fine.
cool that is good okay so what i was thinking is that some stuff doesn't seem to be center uh is the time center uh let's do something so uh, what was that what is this what was this what was this image no there should be something like create screenshot And here we can do oh okay I don't know is this center or not yeah because this is not the right uh, resolution I have no idea I don't think this is center okay I think think is not center so it's the same but uh, but in it's going to be time yeah it's not center Then is the sixty four. Uh, what is that right? Can be right. So time zero zero. 132 okay it was close enough but how the the time is going to be so if it's 132 and we're going to increase oh because he's five 172 okay numbers how do they work okay so now it should be center and it's going to be clear when we get the game over yeah that looks center now cool excellent Have a game over. Okay, this is getting a smaller, ah, but it's okay because we're going to add more things soon. Cool. Well, perfect, perfect timing. I think this is what is going to be today's session. Um, good progress. It's looking more like a game, isn't it? You can get killed. And respawn is working. Good, 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 good. Yeah, this is looking good. I mean, it's what it is. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's it's cute. Things are working. Excellent. Uh, yeah, under the game over, we could add in a, a text saying when you are 
when you made a new high score, for example, that would be useful. See, things that are missing here. We need pause, and this is done already. Add score the title screen. Wait a minute. It was a high score. Yeah, it's done. We did that already. So there's the highest score on top. Yeah, it, it needs pause, of course, so... Nothing really important, really. Because you can escape, exit the game with escape, so... It's just... Pressing a key for pause and, you know, resume. Okay. Cool. All done for today. Um, well, see you next time. Uh, nice to see you again, uh, Racing the Beam. And nice to meet you, Commodore 256. I hope you'll find the answer to your difficult question. Bye now. <laughs>